On this episode of Joey's Garage, today I'm going to be talking about radiators. Progress for the motorcycle has been quickly progressing. I got the electrical all buttoned up and the fuel pump installed. So next on the list is going to be the radiator. I have I need to clean it out. It's going to need to be restored. It's a little bit rusty and it's probably all corroded up since it sat in the garage for a couple years. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first test it out to make sure I have no leaks. I'm just going to throw some water in there and see if I get any leaks on it. From there, I'm going to try and clean it out. That's going to be the biggest thing. And to do that, I found this product down at my local hardware store. It's going to be a Presto, Presto uh, flush and cleaner. So I'm going to see how this works to get it all cleaned out. So after the water has been drained out, I'll add this in. I'll fill it back up, let it sit, drain it out, and see what kind of results I get. So let's go ahead and get over to the motorcycle. I'll show you exactly what I'm working with, and we'll see what I can do to it. So let's get over there. Let's get to work. All right. So here's what I'm working with. I got my radiator cap right here. I have my radiator down here. This is just a plastic cover. It's underneath. And I have the piping that goes underneath. And I have a reserve tank over here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check out over here. Now I've already looked and as you can see I got rust and inside there is rust also. So I'm going to see if I can clean that up. But first thing that I'm going to do is see if I can, um, or see if it leaks pretty much. So I'm going to fill this up with water and fill it up as much as I can. I know I'm not going to get it all circulating through the engine and everything. It's just going to be able to fill this up, most likely fill the radiator, and then run down to the uh, water pump on the other side. And that's as far as it will be able to go because after the water pump, it's going to run up to the engine, circulate, run back down back to the radiator where it cools it and goes in that circle. So I'm going to be able to do half of the, the circuit pretty much, but I'm going to see if I can get that cleaned out. And then once I get it started up, I'll be able to do a more proper radiator flush. So for right now, I'm going to see if I can get this cleaned up, the cap, and get on the inside cleaned up. There's a couple products I saw that you can do this with, with vinegar, just as a, um acid. Or you can use, um, you know, an actual cleaner that um, is built for it. So I'm going to try that out first. I'm going to use, use that press stone. So first, I'm going to go ahead and fill this up with water. And I'll put a pan underneath just in case it drips. So let's go ahead and do that and we'll see what happens. Alright, so I'm ready for step one. Got the pan underneath. And I have the reservoir open. And I'm just going to throw in some water. And I'm going to see what happens and see if I got any leaks or not. So let's go ahead and test that out. Up. I'll keep filling this up as much as I can. And you can see that something's inside of it. Maybe someone else try to flush it out. I got some type of product in there. So I'm going to go ahead and keep filling this up and see if I get any leaks. So now while the radiator soaks and I'm going to see if it's leaking, I'm going to go ahead and try and do a product review of this Prestone Radiator Flush and Cleaner. I figured the best thing I can do for this one is go ahead and test out that radiator cap. It says that it cleans it, so I'm going to see if it will be able to get that rust off of that cap. So all I'm going to do is went over to my um, bench, and if you can see here, I have the radiator cap just in a regular cup. And you can see very clearly it is rusted and it is looking bad. And I'm guessing that's going to be the same thing inside of my radiator. So all I'm going to do to test it out is I have the radiator cap. And I have this pressed stone, you know, as I said, flush cleaner. I'm just going to pour some of it into here until I got it submerged. There we go. And I'm going to see how it cleans it up. See if I can get that rust, if I can get all that corrosion, if it just cleans up nicely. So I can always use this fluid afterwards when I start cleaning out the radiator. So... We'll see how that goes. We'll see if that will be a good comparison to show exactly what it's doing on the inside of my radiator. So I can tell since I can't see inside. So let's see how that works out. So I took apart the thermostat housing and then um, noticed that it was really bad. It looked just about the same as that radiator cap. So if we come over here, you can see I got the cap in there that I'm testing with the uh, Prestone Flush and Cleaner. And over here is where I got my thermostat housing and thermostat. 
and as you can see with both, they are looking worse for wear, you can say, as just the least. So what I'm going to do is see if I can clean these up next. So I just have them like, just like that. And with this one, you can see it's hooking pretty bad. Same thing on the inside of the hoses. Of, or, you know, the housing where the hoses go, pretty much. But, so I'm going to use CLR. So I'm just going to fill it up halfway. And I know this should work. I always use this for dirty, rusty type of limey stuff for cleaning all the time. So, fill it up some CLR, CLR calcium lime and rust. And I get some water just for the second half. Because that bottle is about what? Six dollars or so. So I could use a whole bottle to clean it up. But then I'm you know throwing six dollars down the drain. So I'm going to use half and half. Let it sit for a while. And see how that looks afterwards also. So again, the radiator cap. That's looking pretty good. I flipped that one over just so it soaks a little bit better. And that is the Prestone Flush and Cleaner. And over here I got the thermostat housing, and I got that thermostat, and I'm having it soak in CLR. So, we'll test both those out and see how it goes. So five hours later, here's the results of my test on the flush cleaner and CLR. Both parts have gotten really clean. You got the cap right over here. And if I come in close, you can see some of the rust has been coming off. There's still some on it but it's looking a lot better than it did before and then over on the CLR one or 50% I should say it was diluted by about 50% same thing it's looking even better look at that so definitely CLR does its job can I use it on the seals that's gonna be the question I may use a little bit of both I haven't decided yet, but I know this is going to be flushed numerous times before I um, actually use it. And while I use it, it'll be once a week it's going to get flushed. So, as you can see, the CLR worked awesome. Oop. And here's that other side. So, it looks great. So, it's been about four hours now. I've had the radiator and all the lines soaking, and I came back and checked out to see if it was leaking. I have some bad news. It's going to be a bigger job than I thought. I came, I took a look at it, and guess what? It's leaking. Not just leaking from a hose, you know, something that can be easily fixed. For what it looks like, it's a blown gasket. Specifically, a blown head gasket. So, come over here, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. And... There you go. That's a good view of the seepage or, you know, water running out. Comes around there. I'll try and go slow so it focuses. And you can see it comes right into there. That's about as best of the shot that I can get inside of there. But when I run water, like I will put some in right now. see that's all the way up to the top see it's running and it should come out any second from right in here and then up I can see it coming down let's see here so it comes down this um, head or you know the head wall comes down leaks right into there and then leaks down and then leaks 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 and it's in my pan. So, that's disappointing. I mean, I figure as much. I mean, it makes sense now that I've been looking at it for a while. It completely makes sense of exactly what state it's in and just what it actually looks like on the outside. So, it looks like the previous owner had a problem with um, overheating where he probably had the head gasket start to go. It started leaking a little bit and it just kept going 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 and then that's when they gave up on it so let me show you exactly what I can see 
and over here I haven't cleaned this up at all any you can see some of that corrosion right over there that shouldn't be there so it should be like over here where it's just kind of dirty over here you can see where it leaked out it got this wet but that's been there so cool it has been leaking out from this head and they didn't do anything about it that's about it so let me wrap it up there I'll go ahead and put it back on the stand you know the camera and we will get this video wrapped up so you're not sitting here any longer so that wraps up another episode of Joey's Garage it started out pretty good I was hoping I'd get something productive done I've been working on my weekends trying to rush through this get through the riding season and get this motorcycle on the road I wanted to work on the radiator flush it out get it ready once the engine starts running do an engine flush while it's running do a good one and boom I'm on the road but that didn't happen I filled it up checked it and I have a blown head gasket or a leaking one but something's wrong with it so I'm trying to decide and I put it up earlier if I'm gonna do one of those sealers or if I'm just gonna tear the engine up and get that head gasket replaced and put it back together that's what every bone in my body is saying do that do it right and do it for you know a proper fix but hey I love doing product testing so hopefully you guys are voting you guys are telling me exactly which ones I should do and I will decide and do whatever what the hell so from there I'd like to start a new segment which is just seg or highlighting or spotlighting other youtubers this guy Bella frame I believe it's pronounced he's from the Netherlands he's a moto blogger and he just records as he's driving around so I'm gonna scoot that way and he should have a link and his picture right up here I met him over on uh, Twitter he's a really cool guy he does just like I said videos just says it how it is and he's cruising along and he's just speaking his mind pretty much just like me but instead of in the garage while he's fixing stuff he's cruising that's what I want to be doing but I'm in my garage fixing a motorcycle that's not running so check out his channel I'll have a link in the description as I said Bella frame I should have something right up here it should um, his latest video he had the top 10 close encounters or close calls and silliest or craziest stuff he's seen while he's cruising around I watched that one and I could not stop laughing there is some chick dressed in who knows what and um, he had crazy drivers just driving all over the place these cagers they don't care about us motorcyclists or you know the motorcyclers whatever you want to call us they just drive they do whatever the hell they want so it was hilarious we see that on YouTube all the time but it's funny cuz he's comics about it when it happens he's pointed it out so check out his channel I know he um, is should be talking about mine we traded links um, on his main page you should see, should see a link to my channel and on my channel the same thing over here I got it should be a link over on mine so check out his channel as I said it's Bella frame he's from Amsterdam he's cruising around he's talking he's just sharing his point of view and you get an awesome view of Amsterdam so from there everything is cool it's getting hot in my garage so I need to get this motorcycle done and I need to get on the road and cool down so I'm gonna keep it rolling I'm gonna keep working I should have some videos out in between of other stuff since you know the GY6 I got fixes going on every other thing I got product testing you know I got what two or three vehicles and you know the fleet that I have to work on so I got oil changes all kinds of stuff coming up so keep watching and as I say stay safe and keep two wheels on the road